Hello everyone, this is Suresh and this is a continuation video lipid digestion and absorption. So in this video we will be talking about abnormalities related to the absorption of lipids. So mainly the abnormalities related to digestion part and the abnormalities related to the absorption part. So the abnormalities which are relating to digestion like steatorrhea. Okay, steatorrhea is nothing but undigested fatty particles in the fecus. Okay. So, the daily excretion of fat in the fecus is more than 6 grams, then it is a condition steatorrhea. Okay, in Greek language, steat means fat. It is due to chronic disease of pancreas. Why? Because pancreas is secreting the main lipid degradative uh, enzyme that is pancreatic lipase along with the colipase. If pancreas is not functionally active, it cannot release or it cannot secrete pancreatic lipase. If there is no pancreatic lipase, most of the triacylglycerols cannot be undergo degradation and they as such they will be passing into the intestine and to the large intestine as per or in the fecal matter. So in such cases unsplit fat has been seen in the fecal. So this is these are the defects of digestion part and what are the defects of absorption part. So on the other hand if the absorption alone is defective most of the fat is in feces may be split fat that is uh, fatty acids and monoglyceroids okay the digestion part has been done but absorption at intestinal level okay duodenum and jejunum level if there is any defect in uh, absorption case so already that is degraded triacylglycerols are already degraded by the help of pancreatic lipase and other enzymes but here the defect is in the absorption so in this condition the split fat like uh, monoacylglycerols and fatty acids will be seen in the fecal matter so defective absorption may be due to celiac diseases sprue crohn's disease or surgical removal of some part of the intestine and there are other things which can be happen in the abnormalities of uh, absorption of lipids like absorption of bile duct because we are all aware bile salts providing detergent action for emulsification of fats for better digestion if bile salts are not there there is no emulsification if there is no detergent function and so this these lipids cannot be forming a micellis so that the pancreatic lipases or other lipases will not efficiently work on that so there will be undigested lipid particles or fat will be seen in the fecal matter so if there is an obstruction to the bile duct, bile salts cannot be secreted into the intestine. So this is also the reason behind abnormalities of absorption of lipids and the results in deficiency of uh, obstruction of bile duct results to deficiency of bile salts. In such case, triacylglycerols with short chain and medium chain fatty acids are digested and absorbed properly and they do not require micellarization of absorption. Okay, they, they cannot able to form micellis. Since milk fat and coconut oil are made up of uh, medium chain uh, triglycerides, they are therapeutically useful in malabsorption of syndromes. In that condition, directly they will be used. So, chyluria. What is chyluria? There is an abnormal connection between the urinary tract and lymphatic drainage system of intestine. They both are connected. So, in that condition, urine appears like milieu because the leakage of uh, chyle into the urinary tract so that the urine appears like milky due to lipid droplets and chylothorax can result from an abnormal connection between the pleural cavity and the thoracic duct. So these are all the abnormalities related to the digestion and absorption. One is steatorrhea because of the defect in the digestion by the pancreatic lipase defect. Okay, And in absorption maybe because of the bile salt uh, deficiency because of the obstructive biliary duct. Okay, And chyluria if there is a I mean if there is an abnormal connection between urinary tract and the lymphatic drainage so that the, there is a leakage of chyle into the urinary tract and then to the urine. So that's all about abnormalities of digestion absorption of lipids. Thanks for watching. Thank you.